TikTok, you don't stop. What are you doing? <laughs> How are you feeling? It is so good to see you. Is your head throbbing too? Or is it just me? Mine, mine just started to throb just a few seconds ago. <laughs> what are you doing? Did I just do this? Where did this come from? Did I nick my throat? <laughs> How did I miss that? I was just trying to look good. I guess apparently, you know, let me just point that out. Nom, 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 hey, what up? <laughs> so stoked to see you guys. What's going down? I didn't, I didn't go live yesterday, all right? Magic has been happening. Focus, focus, focus. Got all kinds of stuff going down. Just so much magic is happening. My head's hurting just a little bit, so I'm gonna, put, I'm gonna, I'm gonna handle some of this. What is going down? I see there's almost thirty thousand people online right now, which is just absolutely insane. Hopefully, we get a chance to chat with everybody. You might get. This is gonna bug me now. Hey, maybe if I just do this and I don't, I don't give it any attention, um, it'll go away. <laughs> Things, whatever you give your attention to actually amplifies. So this is why we don't point out the things that we don't like in ourselves. Because chances are, most people aren't even going to recognize what you see. So if you don't, if you show people what you don't want them to see, now they're looking. <laughs> don't look right there. Don't do it. What did I say? I said, stop looking. Thanks, dude. Now I'm uncomfortable. Just kidding, man. You get it what you practice. I don't care. Life happens. So do Nick's. Nick's happen. <laughs> uh, dude, I hit the gym today. It was super duper dope. I got a super, super powerful workout in today. Um, and I'll actually be hitting the gym twice today. Holy moly, it's my favorite party. What up, Pika? How you doing, dude? So good to see you. Hey, hey. <laughs> I see y'all pouring in here. I'm so stoked to see you guys. Oh, that's what I'm missing. I knew there was something up with my whole setting here i don't have the fan pointed towards me it's been so hot <laughs> that's what i'm talking about fan you're my only friend <laughs> uh dude yes um i didn't get a chance to go live yesterday yesterday what's up from oklahoma city oklahoma what up do you ride motocross i don't i thought about it though uh we need to boost this live this is very true in a little bit once we get up to a hundo we're gonna bless the room and then we're gonna play a game try and get this out to the fyp there's thirty thousand people online right now at least the ones that are connected to me so we want to make sure that everybody has an equal opportunity at creating joy in their life and maybe i'm the face to help you do that um who has a water bottle next to them boom i got one i think there, there's two more right over there Y'all need your water. We're making magic happen. You know how we do. <laughs> so I'm operating from this. The past couple days have been very interesting. Um, you guys, we, we got to remember this. Hang on. <laughs> What's a good substitute for trying to drink uh, in a social setting? Water, bro. What else? Everything is non-alcoholic. Actually just helped a, a, a member of ours from the Beyond Sober program. Her name's Jamie. She just put together all these Beyond cocktails uh, for her bar. And she's opening this bar up and she's like, hey man, how, what do I want to get to people? What do I want people to drink? There's cider, man. There's kombucha. Kombucha is amazing. I drink that, but it just depends on um, how fresh you are into not drinking. Hello, sir veteran guy. Bro, I'm going to send you that info, dude. I just got, I just, just, I'm just getting moving. Um, <laughs> I'm working on it right now. Um, club, club soda with lime. Most people want the, the bubbly, right? So like that beer, like that you want to have that in hand. Less people want the pinky out, you know, but that carbonation um, is generally, that, that creates the experience. Um, so, you know, what's really weird is I was just talking to a friend of mine. She's like, you know, they make like non-alcoholic vodka which it tastes exactly like vodka, but there's no alcohol, which is just the dumbest fucking thing I've ever heard. Uh, NA beer choices. Um, you, I mean, I, once again, dude, it depends on. Hey, man, so how do you, uh, how do you stop? You have to practice drinking less. Uh, you, you're so good at drinking so much to the point where you're like, how do I stop? Well, you've practiced drinking a lot. Now you're really fucking good at that shit. So now you got to practice drinking less. You get good at anything you practice. So we want to go back to being a cheap date. <laughs> you take someone out. Here's, here's the truth. I want you to really like kind of contrast this information against where you are. Would you give the amount of alcohol that you drink right now to someone who's never had alcohol before? Let's just say you met somebody and you're like, hey, I, I drink and you got to keep up with me. Would they survive a night with you? Would they survive a fucking afternoon based on how much alcohol you drink? Probably not. <laughs> they probably die. They would probably die. 
I know for a fact, if someone that just started drinking decided to take 30 shots with me throughout the day, they wouldn't make it into the mid afternoon. They wouldn't even make it through the morning because I was drinking 24. Um, what if you can't slow down? Is it bad to stop cold turkey? Uh, you can slow down and cold turkey is like just, it's, you're just waiting. It de- if you're at a point where you're like, I can't slow down, that's physically impossible. Then you've got an extreme addiction and you've got to really, really take your, your next decisions into absolute consideration. Echo, stop. And the reality with this is if you can't slow down, man, <laughs> then the inevitable course is you drinking more. So unless you practice drinking less alcohol, meaning like you're used to taking, I don't know, 15 beer, drinking 15 a day, you got to practice drinking 14 a day. Then when you get really good at 14, you got to practice drinking 13 a day. We actually cover this in the single shot method. Single shot method, you can click the link in my bio and hit single shot method or go to singleshotmethod.com and that's all of your resources. That's all your detox. Everything's free for you. Um, It's going to show you from a scientific standpoint how to get good at drinking less alcohol. Uh, Basically going back to being a cheap date. Can you imagine having one beer and feeling buzzed and then you're like, I can't have any more than three or I'll pass out? That's what we want to get back to because that's a healthy relationship um, with alcohol. And the relationship that we have with alcohol is a reflection of how healthy we are. So as you practice drinking less alcohol, consuming more water, getting more sleep, creating more natural energy, maybe working on your body a little bit, some fitness, the better you feel, the less you even want to damage that with alcohol because alcohol is a goddamn poison. (laughs) 24 days, holy shit, that's amazing. Coming up on a month, man. You probably feel, uh, the 21, 211 monster, you probably feel pretty damn good. You might not be doing so much extra stuff now, but operating without the poison. Damn, just that alone. So look at this. We got that poison. I can't seem to quit. I got you, man. We got to practice quitting. Now, the thing is, is that most people set themselves up for what they call a failure, which is I need to quit. It means zero alcohol, zero alcohol, right? That's, that's nearly impossible unless you do it correctly right? Unless you do it correctly, unless you practice uh, drinking less alcohol, thank you so much. Unless you practice drinking less alcohol, you're going to set yourself up for the inevitable, which is drinking more alcohol. (laughs) Uh, uh, Can you hear good like that? Absolutely. 100%. This is super duper thin. I love this stuff. I was doing great then fell down a rabbit hole and doing worse than I was before. This is what happens. And we have this called a, a habitual thinking If you do the same shit, you hang out with the same people, you do the same things, you got the same thoughts, and the only thing different is the alcohol intake, you're the same person. There's no change. There's no shift. You haven't done anything different. You've just consumed less alcohol. You got to practice becoming someone better than the alcoholic, better than the person that, that has a problem. Remember this. I don't worry about alcohol. I know for a fact, if I were to consume alcohol... I drink it from a healthy place. I don't worry about being an alcoholic. I would never do that because I have stage four cirrhosis and I'm an ex. I don't want to go back to my ex. It's done, 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 done. I am an ex-alcoholic. I actually just met another ex-alcoholic yesterday. His name's Cody. He's super fucking awesome and had a great conversation with him. So the reality with that is you've got to focus on transformation because if you are the same fucking person or you go back to the old version, what up, Petite? You go back to the old version of you, you're going back to the version of you that created the problem. We want to focus, regardless if you have a problem with alcohol, we want to focus on becoming the best version of ourselves. The best, best, our favorite version of ourselves doesn't have problem with substance. (laughs) Period. Day three of being sober for the first time in my adult life, you got me going. Fuck yeah. I love hearing that. Hey, yo, we got a hundo in here. Super amazing. I got some news for you guys. You know, I'll I'll tell you some shit. I got some, some... pretty crazy news. I'm going to bring in the good vibes, right? I'm bringing, I'm going to light this sage up, okay? TikTok, don't cancel me. It's just sage, right? We're going to bless the room here. While I'm, while I'm bringing in the good vibes, will you please do me the biggest favor and double tap the screen and max that bar out where it says Cody Beyond Sober? Just double tap, double tap, double tap, double tap. Max that out for me real quick. Probably get like 80, 100, something like that. What that does is that gets it out to the FYP. If you could do that for me or if you could share the live, I sincerely, sincerely appreciate it. You don't know what you need to hear until you hear it. You don't know what you want until you want it. And you guys helping this get out to the FYP 
helps it land on the right person's page. Maybe you're here because you've been following me and, and working with me for a year. Maybe you just showed up. We're brand new and friends. Hell yeah. There's so many people that could benefit from this conversation and this specific energy. So I'm bringing in all the good vibes with this burn right here. You are amazing. Double tap that for me or share the live. Either way, I'm almost done with this burn, y'all. Clockwise, good energy, clearing the space. 111, there we go. Yeah, you guys are doing it. You're making it happen, dude. I sincerely appreciate you. Almost done with this burn. You guys are the absolute best. As I say that, this smell just made me hungry. That means I'm gonna have to go get a protein shake in a bit. <laughs> Um, okay, that was a perfect burn. You guys are amazing. Thank you for helping me. I sincerely appreciate you. So fucking awesome. My ADHD has me holding on to this for some reason. So I'm going to listen to my body. I'm going to keep myself entertained. You won't even see it. Let me know if you see the lighter. That means I'm, I'm bringing it too much into attention. <laughs> King, thank you so much. Never mind. That's going to be way too obvious. Uh, six months, you provided a new perspective. I'm so fucking proud of you, man. That is absolutely phenomenal, man. Um, six months, that's, you know what you can do in six months? You've probably done a ridiculous amount in six months. Imagine giving six months of your time to anything. All the time that you would normally spend hurting yourself, you are now improving your quality of life for six months? That's insane, dude. You could build a business in that. Dude, you could be unstoppable. You probably already are. Your party already feel like that, <laughs> which is just insane. I'm working on becoming the river. Hell yeah, dude. Smoothing the stone. We were talking about that, um, and this shit got me crying. That's what you get. <laughs> You're welcome. All tears are good. All tears are good. It's helping us process. Um, I got some tears coming. Like They're on the way. I'll talk about that in just a little bit. Uh, what up? What mile smile, bro? What TV is that? The TV is the shit, huh? <laughs> I love this thing. Be like water. Two dogs. Fuck yeah, bro. Water is everything, man. You are water. Act like it. Oh, God. Someone write that down. Fuck. This is what we, you are water. Act like it. 75% <laughs> of your machine. Your mind, your everything is, is H2O, baby. It's water. We consume it and we need it to live. It improves your mood. It improves your energy. Dude, it increases your happiness. Like you just, be, it's just, it's the fucking nectar of life. <laughs> we got to have it. And so we talk about the philosophy. We were talking about this today in the Beyond Sober program. Um, actually, outside the Beyond Sober program in the Marco Polo community, which is where everyone's having these amazing conversations. Everybody is still just sharing themselves. Um, there's a lot of new people in the building. We have people signing up every single fucking day. And I love meeting with people. I have four people I'm meeting with today. I'm also on a podcast. Uh, they have like 1.6 million followers on Snapchat. So uh, kind of a big day today. <laughs> I needed some sleep. Uh, but my point with all this is be like water. You guys, the path of least resistance, okay? If we continue to fight the current, it's going to take us out. This is why we go where energy flows. If it's a, I'm going to tell you something that I've been practicing lately, right? What, what's your podcast? Beyondsoberpodcast.com. Um, I started drinking only water, uh, but I keep getting diluted AUAs. I'm not sure what that is. That sounds good. Uh, you like no laws, Lil Nas X? I don't dislike him. Never, I haven't bought an album or downloaded, but I'm not gonna say no. So check this out, man. What up, Lance? I see you. So check this out. Here's the truth. The universe only says yes. I'm gonna say this again. The universe only says yes. So when we look at our thoughts, when we look at what we're saying, when we look at how we're projecting ourselves and what we are attempting to bring into our world, if you say I want more money, the universe is gonna say yeah. Yeah, you do. You do. I know you do. Of course you do. Yeah. Yes. I want more friends. Yeah. Yeah, you do. I know you do. I see you do. <laughs> I want more abundance. I want to create more abundance. Yes. Yes, you do. And it's going to provide, it only says yes. So when we understand these concepts and start framing our thoughts in a position, so when the universe says yes, we're in a place to receive. Right? I want to, I, I'm, I'm creating a business. Yes, yes, you are. I'm attracting my favorite people. Yes, yes, you are. I am successful and success is attracted to me. Yes, yes, it is. <laughs> when you put yourself in that place, then you get to feel the feeling. You get to sit there. Remember, we attract what we are. Dude, two dogs, this is for you, bro. Yes, yes, it is. <laughs> 
So we position ourselves and our thoughts uh, from a place of yes. You got to keep in mind, every single person here is here because they said yes. You said yes to a feeling. You said yes to a thought. You said yes to a video. You said yes to a stupid face. Maybe it was the hat. Maybe it was all the hats. Maybe you said yes to water. You're saying yes, saying yes, saying yes. This is the, the concept of be like water, man. That current is always saying yes. So when you go with that, there's no friction. You don't have to worry about things going up in flames because there's no friction <laughs> or very minimal friction. Um, whatever you put after I am is true 100%. You gotta remember this, dude. If the universe is agreeing with whatever you say, then what are you saying? I am. Yes, yes you are. <laughs> I am way more than enough. Yes, yes you are. But if we continue thinking these things and going like, no, you're setting yourself up, I don't have friends, or uh, not like that. What's, what's a good way? Um, you, it's, it's hard to, now that I mean, I'm processing this, it's hard to make a statement where it is no. Uh, <laughs> I got to practice that. It's a trip. What's on TV? That is dope. This is, uh, if you type in lively, L-I-V-E-L-Y wallpaper, they come like, this could be the matrix. This can be a big jellyfish. It's all completely interactive. Coolest part about this is I can actually move my mouse around here, which is not, there you go. Um, I can move my mouse and it will interact with all of this stuff. Super powerful, super fun, and it, I have it set up to where it just kind of automatically listens to music and does its own thing. Super bad. It's called Lively Wallpaper, and it's totally free. Um, is tap water okay to drink? I feel like it doesn't hydrate me. Drink more. <laughs> tap water is, I very rarely drink tap water if it's not, if it hasn't gone through a filter. I just don't trust California water. It's just, I, you know, it's not bad. But if I'm going to like the gym, I will take uh, like my Brita filter, drop like two or three bottles of water or whatever liters those are into my jug. And then I'll put uh, liquid IV. Um, that liquid IV right there is like three times the hydration. I get it at Costco. I think I get it for like 28 bucks, but it's like one a day. And I don't use one a day, but when I'm really, really dehydrated, such as I'm burning calories and doing ninja shit, then I'll grab one of those things and put it in my water and I say, Stupid hydrated. Can I ask you the beginning stages before you had liver failure? I'm scared I'm on the verge of it. If you're scared you're on the verge of it, you probably are. Um, and I'm not saying this to scare you because you guys know my story. There were no fucking symptoms. It turns out that I had like hepatitis. Didn't even know it. <laughs> had no idea. Most people that have done damage show no symptoms. You very rarely go like, ow, that's obvious liver pain, especially if you drink a lot. Because the reality is, is if alcohol is a numbing agent and you don't want to feel that feeling, pain, the chances of you recognizing a pain and actually doing something about it, even though we drink alcohol so we don't have anxiety and live in fear, the chances of you actually recognizing that and doing something about it is very, very, very low. So if you're going, I think I may have done some damage, 111, I saw it, you probably have. As a matter of fact, people that have developed cirrhosis um, won't show symptoms and only five to 7% will show symptoms progressively year after year after year. I woke up bright yellow and throwing up a stomach full of blood. Most people, that's not going to happen to. I had esophageal var varices, two veins opened up in my throat and my stomach was filling with blood. That's why I woke up. That's why I was sick. I was nauseous and, uh, and I had to get it out. And then it was throwing up blood this is where I found out that I was dying. <laughs> that was me on my way out. <laughs> so big many off people's addictions. That's cool. Um, that's not the truth. Uh, the reality is, is when you design one of the most powerful sobriety programs in the world, you have to worry about tech. You have to worry about manpower. You have to wor worry about marketing and advertising. You have to worry about paying people to keep you alive, to focus on addictions. Making money off someone's addiction is far different than providing an opportunity for people to save themselves. And it's people like you that say that shit that need the program the most because you're probably the most unhealthy person in every fucking room. As a matter of fact, you probably victimize the shit out of yourself and you probably talk so much shit about you that every time there's a solution that's going to help you be better, you find a fucking problem. You're welcome. <laughs> If you think that people are making money off addictions, have you looked at the alcohol industry? They intentionally get you addicted and bank 
off of your inability to quit, opposed to providing an opportunity based on science, structure, love, team, community, and tech to help you transform into the best version of yourself. Go talk to the fucking alcohol industry and I'll work with them directly if they want to make a fucking deal. But the reality is, is if you can't find reason why you're worth the price of a fucking shirt, you've got more than fucking addiction issues. And I'm here for you. That's what the program is for. It's for people just like you. But if you can't find reasons why it's going to work, it won't. <laughs> so don't waste your money. But continue talking all the shit you want. I'm all about it. All day. You ever heard of a fitness program? Most people have like eating addictions. They have fucking body, body dysmorphia. Are you going to fucking like get pissed at the gym because they give you an opportunity to improve your fucking health? S suck it. <laughs> Let's do it again. Are you fucking serious, man? <laughs> people, the expertise, the science, the actuality behind personal growth, physical transformation, they're not going to teach you that in school. And as a matter of fact, here's the most logical reason why we give people an opportunity to find reasons why they're worth the price of a fucking shirt. Nobody takes free information seriously. If they did, you'd be the healthiest person in the room instead of the most unhealthy. All the data is free, but where is it? You're too fucking lazy to hunt it down. And because you didn't pay for it, there's nothing holding you accountable. On top of that, you don't want to pay? Go fill out a sponsorship form because we have thousands of dollars in donations to help unhealthy people just like you get the support they need without having to bitch about the price of a shirt. <laughs> Someone cares more about themselves than you do. As a matter of fact, they care about more about you than you do. They care more. That's why they donate. They want to make sure that people just like you, that find the reason why they're the fucking anomaly and somebody has to be capitalizing and must be taking advantage of me. They want to make sure that that's not an argument. So this is why when people decide the program isn't for them, I refund their money and give them a free fucking upgrade. You want an example? Sign up. I'll give your money back and I'll still fucking upgrade you. You won't get results, though, because you don't actually give a fuck. Because you practice finding reasons why you ain't worth shit. And I believe you. <laughs> 100%. What's the most common positive feedback, feedback you get? Um, I didn't know I could feel this good. This is the longest I've ever gone. I've never been more powerful. I'm happy. <laughs> this is really the, the most powerful thing. Scammer in the building. Absolutely. You know what? Here's what I did. I spent 24 years destroying my life, dying in the hospital just so I had the opportunity to scam you with science. <laughs> Holy shit. It's amazing what, what people will go through just for a dollar. Aside from that, I'm a very successful business owner. What I do is I help other businesses make their money. I'm a master coach, right? So what I do is I help people, businesses, humans, improve their quality of life because... Here's the absolute fact. There's no such thing as business problems. There's life problems that reflect in your business. So if your business isn't doing well, what are you doing in your personal life? Well, thank goodness there's people as dedicated as me to help you figure that shit out so your business can thrive. You wanna build a dream? I'm here to help you do that shit. So many people, this society, this fucking world is packed with people that make me, make this community more and more and more successful. We love haters, man. You show us how to do it wrong. You show us exactly what we don't like. And more importantly, you're showing us exactly how fucking healthy we are. And we need you. Please don't stop. Fucking for real. My brother is five years sober. I'm so thankful that he was able to stay strong. That's amazing. Can I help you? Um, it depends on what kind of help you need. If you can control your alcohol consumption, can you enjoy it? Or you can enjoy it. It's not for the week. 100%. If you can't practice moderation or drink alcohol in a healthy way, then what's going to happen is uh, you're <laughs> going to drink alcohol in an unhealthy way at high risk. People that drink alcohol in an unhealthy way are at high risk, which means high risk of cirrhosis, high risk of liver damage, high risk of fucking like blood clots and like thousands of other things that are the inevitable results of drinking a poison. <laughs> Why do you think people's stomachs need to get pumped? 
It's very rare. When was the last time you're like, they drank too much water. They had to go to the fucking hospital because they were just so full. Bitch, it's a poison. <laughs> they got to get it out or you'll die. That's the reality behind alcohol. And this is why for me, if I had to die and be tortured and do all this stuff and recover for 18 months and build the most powerful sobriety program on the planet um, just to educate you, I'm cool with that shit. I'll do it again. If I could be twice as happy, go through twice the shit, I'll do it again. It's totally fucking worth the amount of happiness and the amount of success and abundance, creativity, expansion, and growth that I've accrued over the last fucking four years. Because I give a shit. I care more about you <laughs> than you fucking think. You're so motivating. Your tone is the best. Thank you so much. I sincerely appreciate that. So let me, let me talk about this real quick just in regards to tone. Um, so I'm going to be blatantly honest with you guys. Um, I haven't talked about this. And it's, it's been eating at me for a little bit, but today it, it came into fruition. So if I'm a little bit more aggressive, a little bit more defensive, a little bit more uh, passionate, it's because I found out that I am uh, I'm single <laughs> as of this morning. So uh, that is kind of a nut punch. <laughs> uh, and everyone's been asking, dude, why haven't you gone live? Why, why, where are you? I'm processing. I'm fighting um, some depression, <laughs> fighting some reality, fighting some um, very, very deep-rooted emotional scars, and it's difficult. Even the best of us uh, deal with things like this, and so looking at these things and going, what do I do with my energy? How do I, I now have my energy back, which was on reserve for those that I love, and now that that's not the, the, the position I'm in, um, I've got to look at where I want to put my energy and actually learn, teach myself once again, what it's like to love me to the extent that I love others, right? So I got to give it back to me. And so I'm practicing that. So it's a little overwhelming. So naps have been really nice lately. <laughs> um, this is, I'm very, 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 very familiar with depression. I was depressed for two and a half years. The whole time that I was an alcoholic, ex a, a functioning alcoholic, I would drink to process this exact feeling um, of hopelessness sometimes, um, disconnected, a little lost. Uh, but the reality is, is I didn't want to feel those feelings, so I drank. I drank every day. I drank all the way to my fucking deathbed. So... When I'm doing these things, when I'm taking time off to process, that's showing how healthy I am. It's showing that I'm celebrating my life with water, that I'm resting because my body is holding on to so much emotional energy. I was in the gym this morning and it was probably one of the most explosive, powerful workouts I've had because it's from this place of, it's just, it's just me, man. Oh, Alyssa, welcome to the program. Oh, shit. This is what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm so stoked for you. Fuck yeah, dude. That is badass. Alyssa, you're in stage one of, uh, of the sign-up process. So what's going to happen is you're now going to pick a time on my calendar. I'm going to catch a notification. You'll see it right here. Um, I'm going to catch a notification that everything has been processed. That you're, there you go. That's notification number two. You might see it right here. Then you're going to pick a time on my calendar, and then from there, you're going to be forwarded over to the Marco Polo community where we're all having a blast. We're all having conversations. Um, love you, Cody. Super proud of you. Thank you so much. I sincerely... Melissa, what up, girl? So proud of you. I sincerely appreciate you. Um, so yeah, with that, this is, this is one of those things where it's like, I always... Oh, there you go. There's that notification. <laughs> She's in the program. Alyssa, welcome. I'm so fucking stoked for you. Hell yeah. Um... Yes, I'm excited to see you in Marco Polo. More importantly, I'm excited to meet you. Everyone's got this really incredible story. And uh, it, they're very different, but they're also very similar. And uh, so I'm stoked. I love being able to offer my time, offer my calendar. Um, hang on, my boyfriend is 11 days sober. If he comes home from work sober, it will be 12. Fuck yeah! That's amazing. That's amazing. I'm so stoked. That's so great to hear. That is so great to hear. Um, I know that feeling because I was a DJ. So... There was absolutely no way I was going home sober. <laughs> no way. Uh, same with the bartenders and stuff like that. Everybody left. The location um, faded, like extremely faded. 111, I see it. Um, so, yeah, just kind of finishing up on that topic, you guys. 90% um, of my success is based on how I've been processing my world. Um, 
over the last four years. And so when I look at how much progress I've made and I look at where we're all going, <laughs> where I'm going, I have to operate even though there's this mild, there's depression there. I feel that it's the weight of the world. Um, even though it's there, I'm operating from this place of gratitude, um, respect and empathy, empathy for myself, empathy for, for my family and those that I care about. Um, it is a transitional process. So I have to let all of these emotions run. And if I fight them, then I push myself further into a depression, into an extreme depression. And so we don't want to do that. So I'm actually going to hit the gym again today. <laughs> I'll be drinking water all day long. Uh, I'm going to have my, my hydration. I'm going to have all these things. I'm going to communicate. I'm on podcasts. I'm doing these things. And because my body and mind are affected by the emotional weight of this, this reality, Cody, it's just you, man. It's just you. You've got friends and family and all that stuff. But you remember, dude, it's just you. And it's you with you. And because I know this, I am taking time for myself to process. Actually, what is it, Simone? The, the fucking best, the best gymnast in the world? She just posted up. She was in this interview and she's like, look, dude, you guys can hate on me all you want. But one of the most, one of the strongest things you're ever going to do is take time for yourself. It's all here. It's all mindset. She's like, if I got to not do a competition, even though I'm the best in the fucking world, if I got to not do a competition to take care of myself, that's what I'm going to do. And she highly encourages that, which is absolutely 100% the fucking best thing. Because remember this, man, if you don't take care of you and you're not focusing on your mental fucking health, that is going to deteriorate and drip into every aspect of your life. If I don't take care of me, how can I continue showing up for you? How do I offer myself to so many amazing people if I'm not good? You can't. I can't do that. <laughs> it's not possible. I can't be there for those that can benefit from my success, my, my mindset, my drive, my, my solutions. I can't be there for them if I'm not focused on me. So this is why, once again, I'll be stretching, I'm drinking water, getting involved, I'm working with different people, I'm, I'm doing different things, I'm not distracting myself. This isn't a distraction, I want you to remember this. And we talk about this in Beyond Sober, because there's so many unhealthy habits, sometimes we, we got alcohol issues or whatever, and we go like, what do I do when I'm bored? What do I do to distract myself? Bobby, think oh yeah, okay, so she just booked on my calendar, that means she's gonna be in Beyond Sober um, very soon. <laughs> so stoked. Uh, so we look at these things and go, you've, you've got to immerse yourself in things. Immerse. It means I get 100% involved, like the ocean, like swimming, right? You got to swim. <laughs> because when you're swimming, there's no other thing that you can do but swim. So because of that, you can't really think about all those things, right? But you are physically exerting yourself. You're doing these things. It's helping you process how you feel. And more importantly, one of the major things that you got to do is talk about what these feelings are. Feelings are so fucking powerful that we actually have a grieving coach. Her name is Samantha. She's amazing. So for people who are in a place where they must grieve, where it's the death in a family, maybe they found out that they're terminally ill, uh, relationships, friendships, breakups, all of those things. There, also with alcohol, alcohol is a grieving process because we have such an emotional connection to alcohol. That's the second most detrimental part of drinking less alcohol is it's been such a big part of your life. What are you going to do without your best friend? They've been there when, at your worst. They've been there at your best. They've been there when you were bored. And now you're not going to see them often at all because they're not good for you, Right. So because they're not good for you, you have to step into this, this acceptance, which is what we practice in module one of the Beyond Sober program. It's not good for you. It is what it is. If it ain't what it is, then what the fuck is it? So we look at this and go like, all right, I got to accept things. We got to go through this grieving process. There's the mourning. There's the denial. There's the anger. I'm not pissed at all. Like I have no anger in my body. Uh, the point with this is we want to figure out where we are how this information is affecting us and where our emotional entanglements are, Ray, <laughs> where our entanglements are. Um, sometimes we go like, fuck, I gave it my all. I put everything in there and it didn't work, 
right? That goes to sobriety, that goes into relationship, that goes with all that shit. But the reality here is, did I fail because the relationship didn't work? Or did I learn everything that I needed to know? Did I get exactly what I needed to get? Did I learn the lessons that I needed to learn through that relationship because I gave it my all? Because I showed up again? Because I continued bringing my best self to the table every single day? Even though it didn't work, did am I the problem? The reality is, no, I'm not. Same with alcohol. You're not the problem. <laughs> alcohol is the problem. Without alcohol, you're fucking good. <laughs> But we got to look at these things and go like, how are we processing? What is, how is this affecting us? I notice that I'm eating less. My diet is different. I'm hungry now, but I'm drinking water, right? I'm processing information in a different way. I've been through these different stages, which we call uh, mindset chambers. These chambers have been affected in a very interesting way. So I'm, keep in mind, I'm going through the motions. I'm feeling these things. And it affects the way I see things, right? Memories trigger all the best times, all the worst times, all these things, just looking around. I have these emotional entanglements to inanimate objects that bring back memories. This is why we look at this and go like, that's, this is what I learned. This, not, not what you don't want, but this is where I thrived. This is what I got out of this. That we focus on what's working. We focus on the most powerful elements of the relationship. Alcohol is teaching you something too. All of your bad habits, are teaching you something. They're teaching you, who knows what it is. But I talk about this all the time. It's like, you're being taught something, but what are you learning? I can tell you a thousand things, but what are you hearing? <laughs> what are you picking up on? And this goes for roundabout conversations too. This is why effective communication is so fucking important, dude. Open, honest, real, effective communication. Because one of the things that happens is you'll say a million fucking things and every single one of them are absolutely correct and you're 100% valid. All of your feelings make sense and rightfully so, but they don't hear what you're saying because they have their own feelings and their own emotions and they're interpreting things in a very specific way through a specific lens. They have an issue too. So they don't actually hear you and you don't actually hear them either because you just hear what they don't like about what you just said. <laughs> And it's like, Wisco Kid, what up, bro? Hey, shout out to Wisco, man. Um, dude, so stoked to see you, brother. Hey, I'm saving the news. I'm shit. Wisco, you tell me, bro. Should I spit the shit out? You tell me. That, should, should we spit that shit out or should we save that shit for later? Do I have a problem if I love the taste of beer and drink about six a day? Uh, no. Beer itself is a very interesting taste. It's like saying I like spicy food. <laughs> Fermentation is really what you like. Um, that's the, the alcohol mixed with the hops mixed with the whatever. It's an interesting taste and it's an acquired taste. And here's something else, man. When you acquire a taste for something, that's an investment. <laughs> so you look at this, go like, but it, 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 it wasn't good to start with. Um, it wasn't good to start with at all. And now it tastes great. And I had to work through that process and, and all of that jazz. So I kind of like it. I kind of like it. Um, <laughs> some people kind of like taking advantage of or being taken advantage of. Some people kind of like being shit talked to them. Uh, so, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so when you, kombucha, yeah, I love kombucha. Um, I do, my favorite is Pink Lady. I'm not sure, is it Health Aid that does that? I think it's Health Aid. Um, kombucha is so fucking good. It's got that carbonation, it's got that acquired taste. Most people don't like it. Um, Wisconsin says hello, fuck yeah! Um, hang on, I still drink about a gallon of water a day. Joshua, dude, that's great. I love that you drink water. Let me tell you this, bro. You only want half your body weight in ounces of water. <laughs> That's what, 10 days, no alcohol, fuck yeah. That's amazing. The reality with this is you just wanna stay hydrated. We, you could actually drink too much water. I don't mean you're gonna drown. You could. <laughs> you don't wanna do that, but half your body weight. So I'm like, I'm coming up on like 190, something like that. So I drink like between like 80 and 90 ounces roughly. That's that's my mission, but I'm never gonna drink a gallon. I know it's close to a gallon, but I've never drinking a gallon of water unless you're out and really fucking sweating that shit out. Uh, see, drink water. <laughs> Wait, you said uh, you drink water shirt got ruined? What? What the fuck happened? Did you pour bleach on it? You're vibing my guy. I only just got here, dude. I'm so stoked. So look, this. Let me talk about this, man. Cody's the bird. <laughs> Sarah, what's up? Hey, this is our. Uh, other sobriety coach, Sarah. If you haven't followed Sarah, 
you're going to want to follow Sarah. She's got some of the most powerful information. She's that, Sarah, you're that bitch. You're that bitch. <laughs> you say it how it is, man. You get straight to the point, man. I've heard nothing but absolutely phenomenal things with everybody that you've been working with. They're like, Sarah is the shit. I absolutely love working with her, man. She gets it. She puts things in perspective. But you also deliver this, this, this fucking like density and wisdom and power behind what you're saying. And the way you deliver that and the way you help people is from a place of, what the fuck else are you going to do? Are you serious? You were going to do that? You're going to let that <laughs> get the best of you? No. You're going to fucking drink your water. You're going to get fit. You're going to do the shit. Do this homework. Get back to me. Make that shit happen. I'll see you later. That's that hard ass, bad mama jamma, sly mama shit. That people need that. People love that. That's why everyone's like, Sarah's the shit. I, I know. I fucking know. <laughs> uh, this is pure content. I adore seeing. Petite, I appreciate you. I see your content, dude. I see all those bang energy drinks, the mochas and shit. You think I'm not paying attention? I'm watching. I see you. <laughs> Sarah speaks raw truth. Yeah, she does, man. She shows up in, in the Marco Polo and drops it like it's fucking hot, man. Like it's 1985, which is when I was born. <laughs> uh, let me talk about this real quick because you're like, this is pure vibe. I just got here. Now, this is the beautiful part about operating from source. Bang addiction, I wish you always, I went to the fridge earlier to see if I had one. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you this. The reason why I went to the fridge to drink a bang or to look for one, I knew it wasn't there is because I have an addictive personality and I wanted to punish myself just a little bit. I know it's not good for me, but I don't feel that great. So I kind of feel like doing something that's not that healthy for me just to kind of match the internal feeling with something external, right? Normally it would be like alcohol. The point with that is, is I grab water. I went down there and looked for it. I was like, don't want this shit. I don't have that shit. I'm getting water. The point is all those habits still remain. It's what you do with that shit. You're learning, man. I know. So here's, here's where I'm going with that. You're like, dude, I just got in here, man. I love the vibe. This is the vibes that I'm seeking, dude. I love the shit. It feels great. This means even though I'm fighting through a ton of different fluctuating emotions, um, there's that depression on top. My core is still pure. My core is still happy. I'm still fucking happy, dude. I'm so fucking happy. And if I wasn't happy before, I just said it three fucking times. So I must be right. Am I convincing myself or do I believe it? I know for a fact that I'm happy because I practice happiness. I practice peace. I practice oneness and connection and expansion, all of those things. And from that, at my core, the source of me is a happy, glowing, vibrant human being. So even though I'm struggling a little bit, um, and I'm really fucking tired. You guys are still going. <laughs> I see that shit. I see it. I see you. <laughs> I don't drink energy drinks every day, just a couple times a month or so. I, I'm with you. See, look, though. I want you to look at what you're projecting, though. We, I just released this video called Re uh, Reflection and Projection. If every time I see you, you got a bang in your hand, and I only see you a couple times, what picture are you painting? That girl loves bang. I'm under the assumption, since every fucking time I see you, you're drinking one, that you must love these things, right? That's the picture that's being painted. This also happens with people who are drinking less alcohol. So I say this because so many people go, there's unhealthy people around me that fucking point out every time I'm drinking a beer, they don't realize how little I'm drinking. They only see me with the beer in my hand. Well, they only come around around that time you have that drink. So every time they fucking see you, it's got that drink. You got that drink in your hand. So the picture that's being painted to them, they're not going to go, how many did you not have? <laughs> they're not going to investigate and go, is this the only one you've had in the month? No, they're going to go, every time I fucking see you, you have alcohol in your hand. You've got a problem. Opposed to, bitch, I'm drinking 80 beers less than normal. Just because you always see me with alcohol in my hand doesn't mean I have a fucking problem. As a matter of fact, there's a lot of healthy people that drink every single fucking day of their life, will never be at high risk, and will be just fine. <laughs> Rehab didn't work. AA didn't work. This is the only program I believe will help. Dude, Adam, I love that, bro. Here's, we talk about this all the time. Um, all of, uh, everybody that decides to, to invest in themselves and, and welcome themselves to the community they go, bro, AA didn't work. This is because they focus 100% on the problem. 
They literally say, they want you to say you're powerless to fucking alcohol. You're powerless? What are you fucking talking about? Are you, I've survived every fucking thing that's ever happened to me. Everything. And I am powerless. This is the one fucking thing that I, now that I say this, I swear to God. Fucking AA has to be powered by the liquor industry. Someone please do the research for me. The, like, Jack Daniels has to be at the fucking top of AA. Because, dude, just fucking saying that, literally relinquishing and just giving all of your power to a fucking liquid is absolutely fucking mind-bogglingly nuts. Are you serious? And if I can get you to convince yourself that you're forever fucked, then you're forever going to need me. And if I'm AA, uh, stop coming to AA, see what happens. Oh, <laughs> you're just going to go drink, right? Why the fuck does everybody drink before they go into AA? Because that's where the party is. It's fucking true. <laughs> the party is at, at the program. We do not operate like that. When love it is enough. We don't operate like that, man. We do positive reinforcement, dude, collectively as a community, thousands of people, hundreds in Marco Polo, hundreds of people up in the Discord community. Ray, you're feeling down, bro? We got you, right? You having a great day, bro? We're cheering you on, man. You just want to share some fucking lightning strikes on the way to work? Fucking we're watching. The point is, is that you have a community. Uh, where do I go from here? Ray, 202085. Dope. Click the link in my bio. Come hang out with us inside Beyond Sober, man. You are worth the price of a shirt, shirt, I'm guaranteeing you. Look, Hugh is communicating right now. He's leaving a message inside the Beyond Sober community. Hugh is such a cool guy. Got a chance to meet with him. Um, he's more of an introvert, a little bit older of a gentleman. And uh, I believe he's got some like walking issues. Like he's got a cane, I believe. And so he's been, AA is a scam. I don't understand how people say it worked for them. It takes a certain type of person for that to work. I'm not going to talk about what kind of person that is. But anyway, the point is, is that Hugh's kind of an introvert. And so he's practicing getting his, his face out there uh, because we all want to see it. We all, we, it, it. You're encouraged to show up, show face, tell a story, let us know about you, whatever you want to fucking say. Um, sometimes, like last night I was showing, you know, I'm eating rice and shit. And I'm like, this is what I'm eating. Hey, man, I love rice too. Now we're talking about rice. But then there's people who have been like, dude, I, I, feel, I feel like shit because I had a drink. Um, and they're there. We're there to help them process that emotion. Jesse, hell yeah, bro. We're there to help them process this information, not beat them up. We're not going, you fucked up. Oh, you, you, nope, you did it wrong. Motherfucker, dude, if you're struggling with alcohol, of course, you're going to be tempted. Most people are going to drink alcohol again, because the point isn't to stop drinking alcohol. It's to become a healthier person. <laughs> healthy drinking in a healthy way is an extension of how healthy you are. So we're there to help you improve your quality of life. So you could check out beyondsoberprogram.com, click the link in my bio and click on Beyond Sober. Um, or you can fill out your information right there so we can stay connected and I'll send everything over to you. Really fucking simple, man. Um, the reality is, is we're growing. It's one of the most powerful sobriety programs in the world. We're also linked out to two amazing rehab facilities, one in Santa Cruz, another one in Utah, and a brand new one out in Arizona. So it doesn't matter where you're at on your journey. If you need to get into a facility, we got you covered, man. If you want to hang out with the community and you want to work with me personally uh, with everything I have online, now there's 20 fucking six hours of me specifically helping you strategically through your processing. It's fucking power. <laughs> it is so power. I put another six hours of high intense, super powerful mindset material. Normally, that material is re reserved for CEOs, for entrepreneurs, people building businesses. But I want to see you guys win. And I realize that if you guys can make it through these specific five areas, then you deserve a fucking upgrade. That upgrade is massive. And I mean massive. <laughs> is this pre-recorded? Nothing is ever pre-recorded. Why would it be pre-pre-pre-pre-recorded? That's ridiculous, man. You do the same shit every day. Everything looks basically similar. This will be up, though, um, up on uh, my website. You can go to Cody.io, and uh, all of the lives that I have here go up there. So there, up there, there's like 60 fucking hours of me, if not more, on my website, just like this, helping you make moves, helping you make magic, <laughs> do all kinds of amazing shit. Hang on, I'm going to check my calendar real quick. I only got a few minutes left before I got to jump into this podcast. Um, where did it go? Here's the calendar. 
Um, session is that today? Am I missing something? Hang on. This is, what day is it today? 24th? So you got it. This is, okay, cool. Just making sure that my calendar is on point. Yes, I only have a few minutes because I'm going to jump on this podcast and we're going to talk about this. Bumper, bro, what's up? Program is awesome and the community is beyond where it's Buddha. <laughs> I love hearing that, man. Thank you so much for, for sharing that. Um, it's important, dude. And the reality is, is like just the testimonials alone on the main page. Most people just go, okay, I'm in. <laughs> just there's people who have been drinking their entire life. One of my favorite testimonials is I'm 60 years old. I've been drinking my entire life and I'm officially 11 days sober because of Beyond Sober. Dude, <laughs> what podcast? I'm actually not sure. I forget the name of it. Um, someone named Sh- Shazia. Um, it is an online journal that speaks with the sobriety community and they've got, what, 1.6 million people in their network. So it's going to be a fun, fun podcast. Um, really, really fucking excited about that. Um, you should do your own podcast. I already have one. I've had many. I used to have one called The Visceral Human. Um, and then I did that when I was in Texas. And now I have one called The Beyond Sober Podcast. <laughs> you can go to beyondsoberpodcast.com. Take a look. I'm on Spotify. I'm on iTunes. I'm on Podbean. Um, and it's totally free, dude. Go get it. Beyondsoberpodcast.com. <laughs> Eventually, what we'll be doing um, through all of our graduates is all of our graduates are going to be on the podcast and they're going to be written about in the official series, Beyond Sober series. So we're going to take like 15, 20 of our graduates and put them all, all of your stories into a book, put it on Amazon. You guys can like, I'm super fucking stoked. Uh, I need chronos more. I'm not sure what that is. Thanks, Wendy. I've been living under a rock, I guess. It makes sense. Got to run. I'll see you. Fantastic pizza, Marco Polo Lance. I got to bounce here. I got only, only got a couple minutes before I got to start getting ready. Pimpin, you guys are amazing. I'm so stoked for Alyssa. She just jumped into the program, man. That's super powerful. Uh, we actually have a few Alyssas. <laughs> I met one the other day. Met one. <laughs> I met an Alyssa uh, the other day. Super, super great. One of my favorite things is is couples. It's like, hey, man, we both drink and we're both looking to drink less. It's cool, man. Let me know. You you sign up, then I'll go ahead and give you an extra one just for your, your partner, just to make sure that you have the tools and resources you guys can practice with each other. Um, sometimes the community, sometimes it's a little difficult. Maybe you want to practice drinking less, but your significant other, your boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, they don't want to slow down or they don't have a problem. The reality, Lisa is here as well. Fuck yeah, there she is. What's up? Um, and so because of that, uh, we want to make sure that you guys, that y'all get a chance to practice this information with each other. The reality with Beyond Sober is as you grow, sometimes you might grow in areas that your significant other isn't. So there's, it's kind of like growing out of what's familiar. So it's really important that we help you guys communicate and strengthen your relationship as you're going through the growth process. Otherwise, you may grow yourself into the healthiest version of yourself and your significant won't even recognize you. And they're like, who is this person? You guys got to fall in love all over again. <laughs> it, it's what happens, man. And so I say this, man, uh, Beyond Sober is a powerful journey because it's the journey to happiness. You're not, you're not happy because you're sober. You are sober because you're happy. And the happier you are, the less you think about the sauce, the less you have those bad habits, the less you want to jeopardize your pink cloud and inevitable um, positivity with poison. You just don't think about it. It's not worth it. So you drink water instead, man. Look, I was giving up until I saw the, uh, the, that intro of it on Beyond Sober. I feel like I can get my life back now. Adam, dude, I'm so fucking stoked. Uh, dude, we're here for you, man. Everything that I know, everything that I practice, all of my struggles, everything, is inside that program, dude. It's as simple as showing up just like this. You're working with me online, dude, and hanging out with the community. You literally put us in your pocket. So you have access. It doesn't matter what time of the day you are. If you want to talk, you want to chat it up. Dude, we're all there. Most people are going to respond almost immediately. There's hundreds of people that are all over the place that are all like, hey, man, let's chat. Uh, but more importantly, man, we've got the tools, the resources, the community, and the support systems, plus the sobriety coaches, man, one-on-ones, all that shit. It's all right there for you, and it's for the price of a fucking shirt, dude. It's insane. <laughs> it's insane, but that's, that's the other thing. is My favorite compliment the other day is the amount of value that I've received in this program far outweighs what I spent to get in it. 
which is the price of a shirt. They're like, I, I never thought that my life would be this fucking amazing and that it would, it would cost me that little. Because <laughs> most people would charge six, seven thousand, eight thousand. I would. I normally would. But that's not, that's not what I want to do. <laughs> so when people come at me like, you want to make money? Bitch, I would normally charge you eight grand for what I put in that program. 100%. You want to work with me one-on-one? -on -one? Eight grand. That's the price of rehab. <laughs> Hopefully you got insurance. That's what I'm talking about, dude. Invest in yourself. Take care of you. We got the fitness program too. All your food regimens, the community, everything you could possibly need to fucking transform. And it's really fun. <laughs> That's the best part. It's fun. You have a blast doing these things. You get rewards and all kinds of shit. Anyway, with that said, I got to reserve... Uh, my energy for this podcast. So I'm going to chill out. I got to roll out. I got about 30 minutes. And so I'm going to prep some things. I'm going to jump in the program, answer some emails, do all that shit, make sure everything's working properly. I'm going to go have that interview. And then uh, I'll probably release some videos uh, later today. Thank you. You guys could have been anywhere. Thank you for listening to my story. Thank you for giving me a place to talk about uh, my emotions, how I'm feeling. Yes, Ray, dude, you just graduated, brother. Um, if you graduated, I should have sent you, ideally I would have sent you an email and a text. Worst case scenario is I'll reach out to you, bro, and I'll send you the graduation link. And then we'll chat, dude, and we'll do this and we'll talk about next level shit. Ray, remember, I know you just graduated, but I just added six more hours. <laughs> 20 more videos just went in to the VIP section. It says VIP Mantis Mindset. Bro, you want some next level shit? Jump into the VIP section, bro. You unlocked it. You earned it. You fucking did it, man. Let's make magic. Uh, <laughs> and I'll see. Uh, of course, I'll see you. Uh, what kind of program? It's the most powerful sobriety program in the world. It's called the Beyond Sober Program. We help you drink more water, improve your quality of life, become the healthiest version of you, um, and obviously take care of all those bad habits like drinking alcohol or any other addictions. Super powerful. Community, support, coaches, resources, tools, um, and platform. Everything you need right in your fucking pocket. It's worth it. <laughs> it really fucking is. Anyway, I got to get moving. You guys are amazing. You could have been anywhere. You could have done anything. Thank you so much, Nicole. You could have given your attention to anyone on the planet and you decided to hang out with me today. I cannot thank you enough. Seriously, every, every time we get a chance to hang out with each other, it's a gift, man. That's why it's called the present. And I'm so thankful that you give me a place to practice, to express myself, that I'm welcome, that you appreciate the, the value that I deliver here. I, I, you guys are the best. And thank you for helping me grow. Seriously, if it wasn't for you, maybe I'd still be stuck. Who knows who I'd be if it wasn't for you. With that said, I love you. I appreciate you. If you guys want to come hang out with us, click the link in my bio. Take a look at Beyond Sober. You're struggling with alcohol. You want to practice drinking less. Take a look at Single Shot. You want to get your hands on some merch and support the program. That is also with the link in my bio. You're amazing. And just like my mother always says, take care of you.